what inspired you to dedicate your career to studying the impact of environmental exposures on reproductive health and on neurodevelopment? And was there a specific moment that ignited this passion and the curiosity and concern for you? I think maybe I got most outraged, <laughs> if you will, when I learned that a plant in Fairchild, Santa Clara, was um, making chips, chemical on them, that was dangerous for health, and that it had leaked these chemicals into the drinking water. These chemicals went into the homes of the population around that <laughs> plant, and women were miscarrying. When I learned about this, I investigated and became more and more interested in how we can stop these chemical manufacturers from harming the health of our communities. And I've been working on it ever since. It's almost like the more you know, the scarier it is, but you have to know. We need to know this information to be able to equip ourselves with the tools and you know, the preventative uh, measures to protect our health and to also stick up to these big polluters and people that are clearly prioritizing profits and their own agendas over people's basic health.